In this video, we're going to look at Abel's summation by parts. It's very equivalent to integration by parts, but this is summation by parts. Um, this is this result used more than you think. Um, you know, one common usage is in Kronecker's lemma, which deals with convergent series, and um, you know of of this of this kind where it's the product of two sequences and uh, then that result is used to pr prove a version of the central limit theorem and so um, anyway so that's what we're going to look at today and so here we're going to let you know capital N be sort of the accumulative uh, sum from 1 to N of little a of k and uh, and, and so we'll prove that. So in the we're going to let note that a of k is equal to cap a cap k minus cap a of k minus one because then all the terms here cancel with all the terms there except for that the the leading one. So we're going to start with this and show it equals that. So here is this part here. And then we're going to replace a of k with this difference. And then we're going to, you know, distribute the bk and then separate. And then here we're going to take off the top one. So we're going to go from m to n minus 1. That's what this is. And then that the last one, we, we're just going to write it here. And then this sum, we're going to... We're going to, the bottom one, we're going to take off and then go from m plus 1 to n, which is what this is. But then we, ha we can't forget about that first term, which is cap m minus 1 times b of m. That's what this is. And then um, we, I'm going to take these two and write them first. And that's actually the first two pieces of the formula. That we wanted to prove, and here um, the uh, m to n minus one is just copied over here. Now this one, <clears throat> we do an index change. We go from m to n minus one, so that means that we have to add one here and add one here if we do that, and then that is how we get this. So the first term here. If you put in k as m plus 1, it's capital A of m. And the same way with here, it's just capital A of m. And then this is m plus 1, and that would be m plus 1. So these two sequences are the same with the index change. And then here, since you know it's this, we're summing the same, we can combine them. And that's what we do here. And then when we combine them, I factor out of a capital A of K, and then we have this difference here. So that's um, what we set out to prove, is that this equals that. Um, now on the back, I'm going to show you how it sort of looks similar to the integration by parts. But wh what I do on the back is I is I switch these two. So I go BK minus BK, but then I have to bring out a minus out front. So you'll see that this is the same. And also, instead of using this, I use this, where I, it's the difference. Okay. So as a reminder, this is integration by parts. Um, and we're not going to prove this or go over it, but this is the formula. And then note here that you have to plug in the B and then you subtract off when you plug in the A and then we have this interval here. And um, on the previous page, you know, we started with this, well, actually, you know, one step four, but we plugged in this difference and then that's part of the formula and then we switched those to get a minus. Now, if we call this difference del, so del k a k is a k minus you know a k minus one, and then here this would be del uh, b k plus one because then you subtract one off, and so this is the formula from the previous page page one, 
and then this is just kind of rewriting it different with the down notation and then you can you can see that it looks very similar and then this difference kind of looks like this and then we have a minus and then we have the del of b k plus one and a k plus one which kind of looks like that anyway so that's why they call it um summation by parts is because there's sort of a relationship or it looks the same between these two yep well anyway that's all i have for today an interesting result hope you enjoyed it please like the video if you did and subscribe so you don't miss the next one